These hoes forever keep trying me Cause all of your bitches in Miami Got hella finesse of your prodigy A star in the making interview astrology. with Vereen IG Vereen TV We about to get this shit lit right now <laughs> so let's uh let's start off uh how did you get your names uh killer yeah killer killer 187 right yeah i mean i added the 187 to make it sound real swaggy and shit but uh killer i've been called killer since i was a kid because i've been hunting with my dad since i was nine years old so my hood would call me killer because they would see me and my dad pull up with the deer and shit mm -hmm. so as i got older they kind of switched up the name a little bit you know because the way I would dress and the way I would like chill with people so I always be killing shit so they call me killer and then when I started doing the music I added the 187 just to give it a little bit more aggressiveness okay. where are you uh, originally from I'm from Elizabeth New Jersey Eastwick 908 and how did you uh, end up in Florida uh, well I've been in and out of Florida since I was a kid because my family been out here for like 20 years so um, I've been back and forth but most of my family have moved already so I was the only one left up top so my now dad got into my ear and said, yo, you're going to like this shit down here, all these palm trees, it's your weather down here. So I listened and I'm never going back. <laughs> I've been here three years and I'm never going back. So what is your craziest experience since been, been here in Florida? My craziest experience since yeah. I've been here in Florida. I got maced. Yeah, <laughs> I got maced in a club. I think that was the craziest. Um, now that's baby shit now that I think about it. Hearing gunshots two feet away from me, but that technically that's normal in Miami. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I mean, it's shit like that crazy to me because up there everything is real low key, and up here it's all out there. So it's a big difference. Okay, okay. And when did you start? Like, uh, who, like, well, who inspired you to make music? Uh, well, I've always been a fan of hip hop. So my my favorite um, rappers been Nas and Big Pun. So ever since like I heard Big Pun, like that's always been a shit that I always wanted to rap because you know he's Puerto Rican and he was rapping. So I always liked the whole flow of being like Spanish and being able to rap. And up top you really don't see that like that. So that inspired me in high school. And then I started writing poetry and stuff like that. But my poetry got kind of dark. So I started to notice that I was better off writing lyrics and writing music than actually writing poetry because I had flow. So my um, one of my exes had brought me into Newark, New Jersey. And so one of his cousins crib, and he had a studio in his room, and the booth was inside his closet. That shit was like two by four. <laughs> and he stapled all the little things on the side. And I had did a song in his studio, and I killed it the first time I did it. So ever since that, they dubbed me MVP for like a year, because I dropped like 20, 30 songs. Yeah. And ever since that, I've just been a bug, and I've been addicted to it. So since coming to Florida, like, do you feel like they support you more in New Jersey or here, as far as the music, though? Uh, as far as the music, I think that I get hella love, genuinely, being an out-of-towner. Yeah. Because um, people love seeing something different. So I'm not like everybody down here like that. I stand out like a sore thumb. So when they see me, they fuck with me just on my appearance alone. So when they actually hear my music and they see what I do, they really, really fuck with me the hard way. But up there when you from us when you from your city you get support but not it's not genuine to me because I feel like people don't want to see you doing better than them so they don't really want to push you to do better than them so they rather stay on their pedestal and leave you under yeah. you know what I'm saying and people out here don't really roll like that they 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 up for it they want to see you doing good you know what I'm saying it's a different atmosphere it's like a southern hospitality that you don't got up north okay. and uh, what makes you different from other female artists in South Florida uh, I think my flow is completely different. My aggressiveness is different. My wordplay is different. My anim The way I animate myself on the mic is different. I do English and Spanish. I do a whole bunch of shit that's different and I really don't spit on certain things that a lot of the females are spitting on. I spit on real shit that like I go through or I'm going through or what I know my friends are going through. Like I base a lot of shit on real shit. I don't do the cutesy little things, you know what I mean? I mean, I might, I might do it because it sounds good, yeah. but I like spitting on real life shit, and I think that what makes me different is just my flow and my appearance alone. Okay. And do you label yourself as like a rapper or a singer? I'm a rapper. rapper. I'm a trap English rapper, yeah. English Spanish rapper. English Spanish rapper. Okay, okay. And the tattoos, how many tattoos do you have? Um, I lost count after 36. <laughs> I lost count to 36, but my back is done. Uh, my whole right arm is done. I'm trying to finish my left. I had started my face. 
but I can't touch my face no more. <laughs> I've been banned from touching my face. But um, yeah, I'm addicted to tats. I ain't stopping yet though. And how old were you when you first you, you got your first tat? My first tattoo, I was 14. 14. Yeah. Yes. I was 14 and I went over there without an ID and I got two tattoos done at the same time. That's crazy. Yeah, and then after that, every year I went and got two or three done at the same time after that. That's why I got so many. <laughs> it's addicting. So do you feel like you uh, would ever regret getting tattoos in your face or is that something? Nah. Nah? Nah. I always wanted tattoos on my face. I just, I never... I never sat here and said, fuck it, I'm gonna go through with it. But when I moved down here and I had this so this like feeling of freedom where I felt like, you know what? I'ma get I'ma get it regardless. So it don't matter whether I have a tattoo on my face or not. So I mean I'm a pretty female, so I'm gonna make it look good regardless, you feel me? So I did it anyway. And you know what? I think I look better with them on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so at the beginning of a like a, fe a female career, it's, like it's hard. Because it's like some females like they make rules just to do it or whatever like what are some of the things you would tell your fans to let them know that you're actually taking it serious my obsessiveness with my work the way y'all see me keep trying to do shows i blast my music i put myself out there as much as possible like right now i wouldn't even say i'm giving it my 150 because i'm slowly gradually getting to that buck 50. like i feel like i'm giving it 100 right now but the more everything keeps like levitating into the area that I want it, I'm gonna go harder. You know what I'm saying? I think people that have been following me since like March with my music, they could see that my transition went from like down here to like all the way up here. So it's just gonna get higher the more I keep pushing my music and I ain't stopping. I'm sorry to tell y'all that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And do you feel like your fans like fuck with your music because of your sex appeal or they just fuck with your music just because you're talented? I think they definitely fuck with my music because of my sex appeal. <laughs> but also, I think um, most men relate to a lot of things I'm saying because when they hear my lyrics, they be wanting a type of female like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I want a bitch like that. Because there's certain things that I say about how I ride with my man and certain things, the way I think and the way I move with my music and the certain lyrics that I say. Um, they fuck with it because I go hard, I'm aggressive with my music, I snap. So I think. I think sexually and lyrically they fuck with me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And uh, how much money do you think you invested in your career? Um, since March. What well, can be since like overall? Overall? Yeah. Since my first turnaround time upstate? Damn. I can't even tell you, but it's it's for a fact over six figures since I was twenty one. Absolutely. Since I first started doing the music, it's over six figures because of all the studio time I've done, trips, events, everything. Yeah, big facts. And hopefully, you know what I mean, by 2019, I'm going to touch way more than that. <laughs> and uh, what's the meaning behind uh, GMG? GMG is Get Money Gang, No Weak Hustle. Um, it's based on team, you know what I mean? A team, because you ain't shit without your team, you know what I'm saying? Two pair of hands is better than one, and I feel like GMG represents that because we here for each other, we push each other and it's like, it's a movement, you feel me? So it's like, if one person's down, we, we all uplift at the same time, you know what I'm saying? And GMG, we, there's nothing weak on my team. They're not, there ain't one weak soul on my team, so that's why we GMG, we get money because there ain't no weak hustle over here, no matter how we get it, we gonna get it. Okay. Is it like a label or is it like it's a... It's more like a, a it's, more, it's more of a movement, it's more of a corporation, like... Uh, we part of like music and entertainment. We also we represent artists as far as myself and another artist we have But we're also a corporation on the side that we do things for like community and stuff like that Y'all gonna see that in the works now coming up okay, okay. And what are some of the things you accomplished in your career the past year? Some of the things I've accomplished in my career the past year. I've met a lot of good people a lot of good people. I met a lot of bad people because everybody know that the music industry has more bad than good. Yeah. But um, I met a lot of good people that I know I can't, I can't replace in any way. So I feel like the souls that I connected with are more important than me meeting a major rapper or, you know what I'm saying, or a movie star and shit like that. Like, I, I think the best things that came out of my experience with this music right now is the people I connected with. Okay, okay. And who are some of the artists you had a chance to work with? To be honest, I've been real selfish. And I haven't wanted to work with anybody because I've been I've been wanting to work on myself and focus on myself. Um, I've had a few artists hit me up that wanted to work with me, but um, I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah, 
I want to focus on myself and get myself to where I want to get myself to. And then if I want to work with somebody, if somebody work with me, if they worth the time, I'll definitely do it. Okay, okay, okay. And what about, are you, like, well, how long, do, well, do you write or do you freestyle? I write. You write? Yeah. How long does it usually take you to make a song? Depends on the pressure. I could write it in 20 minutes. <laughs> I could write it in an hour. I could take the whole night writing some fly shit. Like, it really depends on the pressure. Like, I had a studio session about two months ago, and I had a beat and everything. And the studio session was booked. They wasn't trying to reschedule me or nothing. So I said, fuck, what am I going to do? So I wrote the song in like 20 minutes, right? <laughs> and it came on fire, though. <laughs> it's just how you put your... If you really want something, you focus, you put your mind to it, and then... Those type of skills, as far as being creative, them shits come like naturally, you know what I mean? It's flawless. Like if a person has to really put their mind and break their bre break their mind to do something, then it's not skills, is it? <laughs> right. But do you prefer to work with uh, YouTube beats or do you have a local producer or you have a personal producer? I love local producers. I love, um, I love new beats because it's fun to play with something new. Yeah. You know what I mean? YouTube is just convenient because everybody, everybody blasts their beats on there and there's more options, you know what I'm saying? And when you have someone that just individual beats, there's different style. Everybody has a different style on how they do their beat. Yeah. But I would say like the best way to get a beat to, for me would be YouTube, but I would prefer a private um, a private beat any day. Okay. Have you had a, a chance to work with any producers that you know? I mean, I worked with um, Ricardo. He's from Mixed Masters, Miami. He's popping. That's my guy. He's very talented. He's a dope ass engineer. Um, as far as anybody else, um, I work with Dash. He's also from Mixed Masters. He's also official. He did Cardi B for me. Cardi B came out hot. Um, besides that, I also got um, who else? I got Yuli. Yuli is in Orlando. Yuli's dope. He does the Spanish shit. Um, he's had a couple um, dope ass artists come through his shit. As far as like Anuel and all these people. Um, but as far as that's about it. Everything's real low key with how I do things. I haven't really done anything, you know, big yet because I'm taking my time with it. Patience is a virtue. Yeah. And uh, what are some of the things you need in the studio to catch that vibe? Bud. Bud. Some fire ass, like top shelf, exotic. You feel me? If I don't have that, oh my God, I'll be so bored. <laughs> I'll be so bored. Like that's just, that just puts me in a good mood. You feel me? Everybody gets in a good mood when you spark up Mary. <laughs> okay, okay. And when do you think an artist should like move from their city? At what point in their career? When you sign. When you sign. The minute that you see you getting over like 500 views, 500,000, 500k views on fucking YouTube, I think you should already start stepping out because, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, all these rappers that are coming up right now, half their team gone. Yeah. Half their team is gone. Because of clout and bullshit, them staying in their hood. And half their team is gone. You got to be smart with your shit. If you really want it and you want your team to come with you, you better take them with you. Because yeah. anybody trying to get to you, they're going to come for your team first. True. Big facts. And when people see competition, they try to wipe out competition. Like, yeah. it's nothing. Yeah. You feel me? It's, it's, a, it's a survival thing. You feel me? It's a hustle. Rap is a hustle. Like, you got to push yourself and hustle all the way for you to be able to get to where you want to get. And... Once you start getting that type of attention, you gotta leave the hood. Yeah. You have to. Okay. So for up and coming artists, which, was, which of these three things you think is the most important? You got the money, you got the clout, or the talent? The money. Realistically? Yeah. You would have asked me this question about. What about this? 15 years ago, I would have said talent. Talent. What about this year, 2018? But we talking this year right now with this crazy ass wave? Yeah. The clout. the clout absolutely the clout because you can have clout and be broke yeah. you feel me but clout gets you money <laughs> yeah. you feel me like it's really all clout like there's a lot of talentless artists out here that they shit bumping hard as fuck and the only reason we like it is because we so used to hearing it yeah. it's not like we genuinely fuck with the music it's just clout it's everybody put clout and they on top because of clout so that's like the easy way to cheat yourself to the top is clout. You could be a talentless ass artist saying the same shit over and over in a song, but you gonna pop because you got clout. <laughs> Simple yeah. shit. Okay, okay. And uh, what's next for you as an artist? You have any upcoming mixtapes? Any uh? Upcoming? I will be dropping my mixtape for 2019. Um, I don't got no name for my mixtape yet because I'm still trying to work on everything. I'm a perfectionist, so I want to make shit like 
I want to make shit popping. I want everything to be dope as fuck. Like, I don't want no mediocre basic shit. So I'm trying to do everything different. I want to have a different approach on how I want to come out with my mixtape. Um, that's why I also did the whole company thing with my team, GMG. Um, I'm also trying to do the Spanish shit. So it's like, it's a lot that I'm trying to do because I'm trying to do my English and Spanish together. Yeah. So I'm trying to drop my mixtape for 2019. I'm still going to be doing my videos. I'm trying to do another video by next month also. So my visuals are always going to be on point on a consistent level because that's what your fans want. Fans love hearing new 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 things like new music, new videos, interviews, posts, whatever. Content is everything to fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People wake up and the first thing they do is before they brush their teeth, they pick up their phone and look on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that consistency has to be on point. And as far as my consistency, that's that's on steroids right now. Yeah, that's and who's gonna be featured on the mixtape, bro? It's just you, you have well, right now it's just me. Just right now it's just me. I got two artists that little by little we're trying to work on something right now. I'm not gonna say no names, but um, they popping right now. They actually on some shit. So I'm trying to see if they jump on my mixtape just to give it a little bit more, you know, flavor. Cause it's just me. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we could do that. God willing. What do I want to say? Can I have my team over here real quick so y'all can see the shirts? You know, cause we repping GMG Hard Body right now. Know what I mean, y'all gotta get used to this though. No weak hustle. Y'all have to get used to this. You know why? Because y'all seeing me right now, but y'all gonna see me for a minute because I'm not going nowhere, whether y'all like it or not. So, I mean, I'm officially a Florida resident. I'm repping Orlando. I'm repping Miami. Yo soy Boricua. I'm Puerto Rican, 100%. You feel me? So, I hope y'all fuck with my music and y'all fuck with me all around because I'm telling you right now, y'all gonna want to fuck with me later. So, don't be on your dumb shit and your floor shit. Fuck with the kid, you heard? GMG all day. No weak hustle, you heard?